Joe Biden is getting the job done for people just like me. One of the many ads voters will see this month aimed at people of color, a $14 million media package in May. Then the announcement of more than $16 billion for historically black colleges and universities, which staffers say is unprecedented, a record amount. And on Friday, President Joe Biden at the Museum of African-American History, celebrating the 70th anniversary of a landmark civil rights win for education. My predecessor and his extreme MAGA friends are now going after diversity, equity and inclusion all across America. They want a country for some, not for all. Black voters helped Biden beat former President Donald Trump in 2020. They still support him, but recent polls show about 20 percent of younger black voters choosing Trump. Cafe owner Shauna Gray is one of them. The Democratic Party has not only taken the black vote for granted, they have disrespected the black vote. Trump has been courting black voters, often citing his legal troubles. And then I got indicted a second time and a third time and a fourth time. And a lot of people said that that's why the black people like me, because they have been hurt so badly and discriminated against. The mugshot, we've all seen the mugshot. And you know who embraced it more than anybody else? The black population. It's incredible. The former president has added former rivals to his campaign team like U.S. Senator and former presidential candidate Tim Scott. We have a chance to only keep our money, only to raise our kids. The Trump campaign told VOA black and Hispanic voters, like all Americans, are worse off now than they were under President Trump, by a lot. And every poll reflects that reality. Dana Williams, the dean of Howard University's graduate school, doesn't agree. I think that credible polls still have a polling problem when it comes to Black voters. Knowing what questions to ask and where to go um, makes all of the difference in the world. You'll get a very different response if you go to a Black college or a university. On Sunday, Biden continues his outreach, speaking to the all-male Black graduates at the alma mater of civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr., but are this week's events enough to regain the black vote? The election is less than six months away. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.